Lesson one, what is dictation? This lesson is primarily a teacher model lesson. The students are just watching you uh, do the process of dictation. Um, and then in lesson two is when they'll actually start to go in their notebooks. So I'm just gonna be modeling uh, kind of what you should be doing for the first lesson. Um, I'm gonna get to the active engagement part uh, since everything else is just, it's written word for word in the lesson plan. So in your notebook, we are going to practice putting the date and the title. Then we will practice the procedures for dictation. Whenever we begin the date and the title, we always put the date in the top right corner. How you have the students write the date is up to you. I'm just going to put 9, 10, 2020. And we always are going to start with the title. I'm going to title just this, Dictation. And the title always goes on this very top line. Okay? It's important that they don't skip pages or write on the back because they are going to end up um, eventually editing. You also want to teach the sorry, you also want to teach the students that whenever they go to a new page, their red line, if their notebook has no holes, the red line should be closest to the crease in their notebook. If I go over here, you can see there's a red line, but look how far it is from that line in the notebook. So I always want to make sure I'm writing on the page that is closest to this line. The red line and the crease need to be the closest together. That's how I can tell that I'm on the right page, on the right side of the paper. Also, if they're using notebook paper, you can remind them that the holes, if there were holes, always have to be on the left side. That's another self-check so they know that they're writing on the correct uh, side of their notebook. So we're going to learn the steps of dictation. Every day you will write on the same page where you wrote the date and the title. Put the date, and I always put my title on the top. So let's look at the uh, steps for dictation. Step one of dictation is listening. Our ears should be listening. You're going to be listening for the sentence that I say, and you're also going to listen and count the words in the sentence. So I'm gonna say the sentence, for example, I like you. Your ear should be listening first, pencils down to the sentence. I like you. Then we're going to listen and count the words on our fingers. I like you. That's three words. I like you. That's the first step in dictation. The second step that we're going to do in dictation is you draw the lines to the words in the sentence. So if I had the sentence, I like you, I'm going to, that has three words, so I know I'm going to draw three lines and when I begin you always want to teach your students to skip this line underneath the title in case a correction is going to be made later on and it's a good rule to always start on this uh, second line so I'm going to just draw lines I and I need to leave space like you end of sentence so if I know it's the end of sentence I'm just going to make sure I put a punctuation so on the second step is drawing lines to match the same number of words. So if it's I like you, three words, I should have one, two, three, three lines with spaces. Okay, boys and girls? And the last step for dictation, if I look at my anchor chart, is to write the dictation. Now, this is where your pencils can finally I'm sorry, this is where you're gonna start writing the words that I said out loud. And don't worry if you don't write it all completely or correctly the first time, okay? Because we're just starting and we're gonna end up correcting it and learning from our mistakes. So the third step is to write. So if the sentence was, I like you, I'm gonna make sure I write those words on top of each of these lines. So I, I know complete sentences start with a capital letter. 
like you. End of sentence. So I have my punctuation. I like you. And then that's it. Okay? And that's what dictation looks like. So the three steps for dictation is listen. Listening to the sentence and listening to count the words. The second step in dictation is to draw the lines. Once you've listened and counted the number of words in the sentence, you're going to draw the lines. And the last step in dictation is to finally write the words. We get to actually write the words in the sentence, making sure we always begin with a capital letter and a punctuation.